Hey, good morning. We are working out on the sawmill today. I am just finishing up some really old pine about, well, I guess not really old. It's been on the ground for about a year and I only have four logs left. What I've been able to get out of them is looking pretty good. Got all that there. And then way over there, you can kind of see my lumber stack the top half of that is all out of these type of trees too so i've got a new load that elegant tree service out of conyers dropped off yesterday I gotta finish up the pine that I've got here on the ground and then I'm gonna start working on that over there. Um, that is gonna be some fence boards, I believe. Uh, I've got a customer who wants to do a fence, like a four rail fence, kind of like what we have. And we're gonna see if we can make that happen for him. So all finished up with those old logs and now I am just taking all my off cuts and dressing them up to make stickers to go in between each of the boards when I stack them up.
So I don't know if you see it or not. But that is a relatively brand new shiny bolt they got just drilled right into the tree there. That that's why you gotta check your logs before you put them on the mill because that'll ruin a blade in a second when you hit that. I don't have a metal detector, so I kind of just got to give them a look over as I'm rolling them, getting them put on the sawmill, check them for any kind of metal I see. That's kind of the main issue with getting logs from tree services is there seems to always be some kind of metal in them because they've been in somebody's yard and there's a fence running through it or a hammock was hanging off of a tree or who knows what, but just something to keep an eye out for. I'm glad I caught that one before I hit it with the blade.